the state of espionage that is on my Facebook, which agitates me and breaks down my composure, and they only allow what is composed poorly to go through, which it's a lot, but sometimes I'm really punctual and really on the button, which you probably haven't seen any of because evidently every time I say something that is legally binding, our house, our elected representatives or Google or Facebook or somebody decides that it is inappropriate for the masses. Now, I'm not one of these stereotypical liars. I don't lie all the time like these people were randomly just make up stories all the time. I am not lying that they are deleting and restricting my ability to speak in public forums through comments on Facebook. I'm banned from my representative Virginia Fox's Facebook from leaving any comment. And I'm banned from my county uh, uh, representative's Facebook. And, uh, and I just left a comment and I posted it two times on Paul Ryan's The Speaker of the House's Facebook. And he deleted them. I had him tagged in them both. I was going back to copy them is how I discovered that they were deleted. That is why we put stuff on Facebook. So we have a chronological record of activities and our opinions. We need a public discussion Facebook platform to audit the representatives that is maintained and secure for the independent citizens, which we aren't yet, but we will be. We will be the independent citizens that we fled Europe to be again as long as we're civil and we do not do not become violent extremists forcing our views on other people. Now, if they come to your house and they're going to try to take your weapons to that point and that extent, they are physically breaking the law and it is your duty as a United States citizen to defend our Constitution of the United States and our country's rights and the citizens, you, you, you have a duty to defend the citizens, not the country's government. The individual citizens is the responsibility of the Congress to provide their ability to make a living. I got to be sure this thing ain't stopped because most of the time when I get something punctual and properly composed, they'll delete it. Or they'll stop the camera. Or they'll do this. They'll do that. Anyhow, you guys don't get to see that. And my name's David Aaron Grigg. I am registered on the docket to be a candidate for United States President. There is no way to start at the bottom, although the change has to come from the town, county, and state level before it can be, before it will fix it. We can fix our system. On the tax systems, we have to bundle all these taxes and all these mandated securities, the insurances and all that stuff, into one transaction tax that keeps the public corridor safe, which gives us lifelines of Social Security. But they don't have that. We don't have that. We have crazy people sitting on the floor of the House of Representatives, occupying the floor of the House of Representatives, while the Speaker of the House of Representatives neglects to do his duty under a radically group of terrorists. They can literally become 
the government because they occupy the house and it has been surrendered by the majority leader, Paul Ryan. They can literally just take over the house, delegate themselves the authority, pass it into law. I don't know if they got something that is mirroring this action in the Senate, but I think the Senate was a... Uh, controlled by a different majority. I'm not sure what's going on exactly. But right now, occupying the House of Representatives, they can seize power if Paul Ryan is not vigilant. Which he doesn't want to be because he wants to pass the deniability. Everybody in the government wants to pass the deniability. There is no accountability in our structure of leadership. None of those people are held accountable. I'm not going to point at one individual incident. I'm going to point at all of the mechanized public utilities from a road that was paved less than a year ago that has already slid off into... has already slid off the bank then they, the the employees come out there to fix it and they still ain't even fixed it it's they're not going to they have no plans on fixing it they're just going to wait till the next time it needs paved while well, there's this big danger spot where the white lines eroded that is prevalent from the bottom to the top okay we need very much so to clean house and get a system of sales tax one this is my plan one safe trade transit insurance commerce sales tax appropriation accountability infrastructure investment prepaid dividend bearing sales tax system which will get rid of all privately held insurance companies be facilit all the securities and insurances and our daily commerce will be secured through the sales tax. The cost of that insurance would be minimum. You buy a gallon of paint on sales tax you pay, that ensures that it is the the a person applying it is secure as they climb that ladder. Why not? Why keep stifling the small businessman by Tons of insurances, and, and and we don't even have to pay government fees. It's just a private insurance company that has figured out how to delegate themselves. A